This video explains some of the basics of making 3D part shapes. The sample part will be a flywheel. First, let's choose a material for our flywheel. On the menu, choose Job Material. Let's only show recommended materials. Now let's choose Aluminum 6061. The uses and properties of materials are shown on the website. Click OK. Now let's draw the flywheel. First, draw a circle to create the outer shape. Don't worry about the exact size of the circle just yet. Let's suppose we want a 3-inch flywheel. Go to the numeric bar and set the diameter to 3. Notice that the size of the circle has changed. Now, adjust the zoom level to make the circle fit the screen by pressing the equal key on the keyboard. Notice that the drawing was resized to equal the screen size. Now, we need to select the machine to make the circle. Click the Machine button. Choose Mill and click OK. How do we know to choose this machine? The uses of each machine are covered on the website, but the mill is a good starting point for many 3D shapes. We already specified the 2D size of the circle. Now we need to specify the third dimension. The third dimension is referred to as the z-axis. That is, how far out from the screen towards yourself the material should extend. Go to the z-control and enter 0.5 to indicate a half inch. Let's look at the 3D view. We will look at the 3D view periodically as we design. The overall shape seems correct. 3 inch diameter and a half inch thick. Close the 3D view. Now let's create a hole in the center of the flywheel. Since we want the hole to be exactly concentric with the flywheel, we'll use the snap feature. On the left toolbar, check that the snap to lines button is pressed in. Then, draw a small circle at the center of the large circle. Now set the exact size on the numeric bar. Enter 0.5 and press the Enter key. Notice that the size of the circle has changed. Next, indicate that this circle is a hole. Go to the Z control and select Air Inside. Let's check the 3D view again. Rotate the view. The flywheel is taking shape. Close the 3D view. Most flywheels have a heavier rim. To make a rim, we will create a recess on the interior face. To make the recess, we need concentric circles at the outside and inside edges of the recess. We could draw the circles as before, but we'll use the repeat command to save time. Click the large circle and choose Line Repeat. Use the keyboard arrow key to nudge the circle back into position. We have made a copy of the outer circle. You can't see the copy because it's directly on top of the first circle. Now set the diameter to, say, 2 and a half inches. Notice that the size of the circle has changed. Now make this line a recess. Set Z to minus 0.2 to indicate that the material is recessed by 0.2 inches. Negative values make recesses. Positive values make protrusions. 
Now let's specify that this recess has a flat bottom instead of a conical drilled bottom. Click the machine button. For the far edge, select straight. Click OK. Take another look at the 3D view. The flywheel continues to take shape. Close the 3D view. Now let's make the center hub. Let's suppose we want the hub to be the same thickness as the rim. Click the largest circle and choose Line Repeat. Nudge back in place. Set the diameter to 1 inch. Look at the 3D view again and notice the hub is formed. But the other side of the flywheel is flat. We need to copy the recess to the bottom side. Close the 3D view. We will now copy the recess to the bottom view. While holding the Shift key, select the two circles that make the recess. Choose Edit Copy to copy the two circles to the clipboard. Now choose View Bottom to switch to the bottom view. We are now viewing the drawing of the bottom side of the flywheel. Choose Edit Paste to copy the recess to the bottom view. Check the 3D view again and notice that the rim and hub now appear on both sides. Close the 3D view and switch back to the top view. Finally, we will add, say, six holes in the recessed area. This will create an effect similar to spokes. Let's make the first hole equally spaced between the outer and inner recessed circles. To do this, we will draw a temporary guide line. Using temporary guidelines is an important technique. Click the Line button and draw the line to the snap points. Click the Circle button. Move to the center of the guide line and draw the circle. Set the diameter to 0 0.5. Now indicate that this circle is a hole by setting Z to air inside. The guideline served its purpose, so we need to delete it. Click on the line and press the keyboard delete key. Check the 3D view and notice the hole in the recessed area. Close the 3D view. Now let's add more holes to bring the total to 6. We are going to rotate and copy the hole around the center of the flywheel. To prepare to rotate the hole, first select the line. Then click again to enable rotation mode and notice the rotation handles. Now let's set the angle of rotation to 60 degrees, since 360 divided by 6 positions is 60 degrees. In the nudge box in the upper right corner, type 60 and press Enter. At the center of the circle is a very small circle. This circle specifies the center of rotation. Drag this circle to the center of the flywheel, since we want to rotate the hole around the center of the flywheel. Now press the R or L key on the keyboard to nudge the circle right or left to the next rotation position. Now select Line, repeat for another copy, and let's use the accelerator, Control d for the remaining four. Now let's take a final look at the flywheel in 3D. Our flywheel is complete. This completes this video. Please proceed to the next segment.